You know what I mean? Yes. Now we're talking about the post office. Yeah, last week we were talking about Home Depot um, not only hacking credit card numbers, but they also got all the email addresses. Today we hear that the USPS uh, was gone postal on by yeah, right, exactly, in, yeah. in China. HBO had become a victim of a malicious cyber attack. It says winter is coming on this corner. On this corner he has HBO is falling. Welcome back. Thanks for coming back to the page. Today I want to talk about cyber attribution. Many people are familiar with cyber attribution, but let's discuss a better way of seeing attribution. Attribution is the process of tracking, identifying, and laying blame to a perpetrator, sometimes a country or an individual. In many cases, as defenders, we tend to try and put a face to activities associated with investigations or breaches, and that could be very dangerous. Putting a face to an investigation could build on your own bias and totally change the process for how we tackle problems, investigate, and go down a rabbit hole to find different artifacts. Sometimes we can overlook artifacts or investigations early due to that confirmation bias. What we should be doing is to look at each invest investigation carefully, being able to explain why certain paths were taken, rather than seeing a person we can acknowledge that the evidence points to the interest of a spe specific entity or a specific person. Sometimes when we chase people, we're actually chasing the malware raiders themselves and not the organizations they work for. So just remember that we need to stay, stay specific to the interest that the perpetrators given us or showing us in their activity. And sometimes it's not specific to an entity, but sometimes specific to an objective. We may also want to establish an understanding of what the objective might be based on the current evidence and steps required by the adversaries to achieve it. <clears throat> Attribution is a touchy and opinionated subject. And yes, I have opinions about it. So does everybody else. But I just wanted to express the importance and the impact of attribution. Attribution is a certain degree of certainty that someone is responsible based on what is known, not what is assumed. Remember that. So next time you say that China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, or anybody is attributed to some activity that you see, just make sure that you put an emphasis on that it shows interest to those states, those countries, and not that you absolutely know that those countries are responsible for it until next time like subscribe comment and let me know what you think about cyber attribution